everyone. Welcome back to our 100-day project. We're both here, me. And me. And today I am working on... Richard, can you turn that light on, please? Because it makes for a better lighting when we're on film and point it like kind of up here. There we go. Today I'm just I'm deciding if I want to do a two-page layout or a one-page layout, and I think I want to do two. I just want more space to create on, and I don't even know what I'm really going to do. I just want to just create something pretty. And Richard is, um, he saw some pajamas on Indie Dinosaur pajamas. Let me see them on the thing. And they're so cute. There's all these little dinosaurs on bikes and on, bikes. They, they're all on bikes. Yep. And they have little helmets on, and they're just the cutest. So he's going to recreate that on there. And then Julia wants him to recreate it for Indie's wall in his room. Because it's just the cutest. So first thing I'm going to start off, I'm just going to paint these pages white. Hello everyone. There's a little smudge on our camera somewhere and we can't seem to find out where it is. But I will try to clean it off. This is my page so far. I've just been playing with uh, shapes and textures and stuff. Like this is large bubble wrap over there. And then I cut a heart out of this... Um, I threw it in the garbage. I'll show you. I don't even know what it is, but you guys know what I mean. This stuff. So then I mixed up some red paint over there and I added some red mica flakes so it'll hopefully shimmer when it's all dry. And then I just echoed the red and a little bit of the red there. And so that's as far as I've got. I've cut out some images and... Um, some rub-ons and I'm just gonna play going to town here people just having fun and then Richard he just went in the house to get some water but I will show you look at that he put the dinosaurs on bikes but he also put one on a skateboard if you can see him in the middle there that little guy he's so cute and they all have little helmets that's what's so cute about them is their helmets they're just Precious, and those were on Indy's pajamas. So yeah, we're just gonna carry on playing. So I just wanted to show you where I'm at with mine. Richard's still the same page because he's eating supper. I already ate supper because <laughs> I want to get back out here. But I, it's just wacky, no rhyme, no reason. I'm just doing, creating whatever it feels like I should do. That's what I'm doing. I took my hole punch and I punched some paper circles. These are gonna be flowers. And I'm going to put this as my center in my flower. I'm going to stamp it in. I found this little thing and it just says, I have spoken. And the arms of it look like bird, a bird wing. So I drew a bird head and I put it right there. And then I'm going to stamp a bird cage beside him. It says, I have spoken. And then over here, I haven't done too much more than the, I think... I don't know if she was on last time, but this little girl, ballerina girl, and she has a really pretty green crown. I put some, um, this is rub-on, and there's a little bit pink rub-on going down there too. And that's as far as I've gotten. I know. I need help. Yeah, I know, right? Wacko! But I know what it all means. It's all tied together to me. But you can see there's a bird there. I showed you my birdie before and the cage and a whole bunch of rings stamped. And there's text stamped on top of paint on both sides. There's my little girl. There's red splatters this time all over everything instead of white or black. There's the word creativity, the word you must always be curious. Um, this is just a broken rub on it doesn't even mean anything it says love is a chain where something something but it's torn which is okay right down here it says awesome uh, this side the two sides are tied together by that and that and by the red and the red but they all are tied together the border all the way around is delusion stamps and then I'm just going to put my words on this page in black paint and it will make perfect sense, hopefully. <laughs> so here is my finished page and it says, I see art in every day. 
And that's why there's all this randomness all over the page because it's just things you see all the time. So we got some flowers behind there. We got a little ballerina and she has um, sort of Wink of Stella on her fit stop. She has Wink of Stella on her crown. And we have uh, stamped words in French and a bird in a cage. And the birdie says, I will have spoken on her dress. And then there's rings and the border and just a whole plethora of collages. There's just paper scalloped here with doodles around it and doodles all around. And that's my page. So I see art in every day and I actually do see art in every day. So I wanted to do a double page because sometimes I feel very challenged by just being able to work on one page, especially if you're going to do something this whacked out. So anyway, I hope you guys like it. I do. I think it's crazy. <laughs> but I do like it. I really do. So Richard, are you done? No. He's just about done. Hi everyone. Here's my finished page for the day. And so this is a picture that I got from Indy, my youngest grandson. And his dinosaurs, they were riding bikes, but I put one guy on a skateboard and I put a scene behind each little guy. Actually, they're skating and riding on a road. Cool, eh? <laughs> so anyways, um, so this is my finished page. I did it in acrylics and bright colors. So now I think I'm going to use this as an example for his room and uh, we'll see anyways my finished page dinosaurs on bikes and a skateboard wow see you guys later bye